Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of February, okay? So keep in mind, this could happen at any time in February, and uh, yeah, let's see what comes up. After this, I'm going to go back to the weeklies. I just wanted to get the Februarys done. So what do we have for Virgo for the month of February? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What do we have for Virgo? One card, please. The Chariot. So the Chariot is a lot of discipline, determination, uh, time of transformation, uh, hard work paying off. So some some sort of hard work that you have done is starting to pay off. I feel like there's going to be some sort of recognition this month as well with the Chariot card. It just feels like there's some sort of recognition. Um, I see a lot of determination here. Determination to succeed and you being successful. Okay, you finding the success that you uh, worked for. Okay, you worked for this and here it is. So this is success. Some sort of success has come to you for all the, the uh, discipline that you have put in and the determination. Congratulations, I, I want to say. Congratulations. Um, a lot of mental strength, okay. Um, hmm. Victory. Victory in some sort of endeavor for you. You may be hearing those words, congratulations. You may be being recognized. You notice there's people that are watching you. They may be you may be being recognized by others. What do we have for Virgo? Well, there's one. We'll take those. We got four cards. Four is about building a foundation. So I'm not sure if you're building a new foundation. Something about a foundation. All is well. Okay, with four, 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 or a four, and we got four cards here. So four fell out when I see, and for some reason, I want to mention t fours to you. Okay, fours are universal protection. It's angel protection. Pay attention to the signs. Okay, um, you're on the right path. Keep going. Okay, keep going. There's some sort of invisible forces that are helping you to succeed. Ooh. Casket. Someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. Now, this can be a good thing. Okay, it can be. It can be a good thing when something comes to an end because after an ending is always a new beginning. Dog barking. Advice from a friend. Skull. Hidden secrets can harm you. So if you've had any secrets, and they've been kept hidden for a long time. They could come out this month. Dark woman. Dealings or relationship with a woman with a dark complexion or dark hair. So there is a woman that is probably jealous. She's upset. She's not happy with you. She may be the one revealing the secrets or causing you problems. Um, yeah. And maybe it was a friend at one time. I'm not sure that it is. But you may be getting advice from another friend. Or this person was. I feel like it was a friend. At, well, I think this is the person that is leaving your life. You will probably end up severing ties with this person. I'm not sure who it is. You probably know. So let's get one of these. What do we have for Virgo for February? Be careful who you trust. Okay, that's something I just need to tell you. Be careful who you trust. You may be thinking somebody is your friend and they are not. This is somebody with dark hair or a dark complexion. It is a woman. This person is not your friend. And they're gonna they're going to uh, reveal something about you to hurt you and it's because they're jealous or they're upset with your success mm. 
What do we have for Virgo? One card, please. I'm speechless. This is my third reading. And you guys see me shuffle. I always shuffle on camera because I feel like that's ha what integrity is. Okay, it's about showing people what you're what you're getting. This is my third February reading. And here we go again. This every single one, Taurus, Gemini, and Virgo has gotten this card. And you guys have watched me shuffle. It is safe for you to love, open your heart to give, and receive the highest energy of all. So this is a very strong message. Okay, um, it is safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. I'm speechless. <laughs> and that doesn't happen often. Um, what do we, what do we, and you may be made speechless. Okay, every word that comes out of my mouth is part of this reading. Even if it seems like it doesn't resonate, trust me, it will. So what do we have for Virgo? Something or someone is going out of your life or the end of a situation. You will be victorious. You will be successful. Your hard work is about to be a payoff. There could be an arrival with the chariot card. Queen of Swords reversed. Eight of Cups reversed. King of Swords reversed. Oh my goodness. So we have a couple here. We have a couple that does not do not see eye to eye. They don't see eye to eye. Okay, there's some sort of disappointment. There is. There has been some emotional disappointment. There's been jealousy. There has. There's been a power struggle. It's been a serious power struggle between this couple. Um, there's been a lot of nasty words, a lot of, uh, vindictive behavior. Um, something could be coming back around. Okay. This person may be coming back around They're, They want revenge and it feels like it's, it's double-sided. It's a double-sided. It's, 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 what is it? What do they call it? A double-edged sword or something like that. I feel like it's on both sides. I feel like there's revenge. There's vindictiveness. It needs, it needs to stop. Okay. It's not, it's not going to, it's not going to make things better. Okay, but anyhow, I feel like there's definitely some sort of aggressive behavior between both of the people. So one of them's you, because you're watching this. You know, there's aggressive behavior that is causing conflict, okay? Causing a lot of emotional disappointment. And it's, it's a serious power struggle. It is a definitely a serious power struggle. Oh, here's the conflict. Here's the conflict. That's the conflict. I mean, I, don't, I should just say what's on my mind, not even pull the cards. So yeah, this is a fight. This is a battle. This is a conflict. It's petty. It's stupid. Okay. Um, you know, when you get the Eight of Cups reversed, that is uh, a wild goose chase. Okay. This is like a wild goose chase. It's refusing to move on. There's lack of spiritual growth. There's lack of self-esteem. There's emotional weakness here. So the need to win this battle is going to be causing a lot of pain, okay? This is a battle of power and control. It is. Between two people. And you are one of them because you're watching this. So, anyhow. This is the need for discipline. The need to master your emotions. The chariot is about mastering emotions and to find the discipline and the willpower and the determination to uh, deal with opposition in a positive manner. Okay? It's not going to be easy. But you will be victorious if you focus on yourself. Don't focus on this other person that hurt you, that you need to win with. Okay, stop battling. Stop competing. This is a highly competitive situation. Stop competing. Oh, the lovers. Unexpected choice in love. So I feel like 
You need to open your heart and let go of your bitterness. And not everybody is bitter, and I know that. But we have bitterness here, and that's the, that's the truth. Okay, that is the truth. There's hate, there's revenge, there's bitterness, there's jealousy. Um, there's nasty behavior, a lot of gossip, a lot of talking. You know, it's just a lot of, I'm going to get you. I'm going to one-up you. Let go of that attitude. Master your emotions. Walk away. You know, I read something the other day. It was a quote. It was some sort of quote. And it said something about, if you have the chance to treat somebody the way they treated you, I hope you walk away. And that really struck me. I happen to be Virgo rising, by the way. And I needed to read that. And I acknowledge that. Walk away. We have somebody here that needs to walk away, but they're not. They keep fighting. Just walk away. Whoever you're dealing with is in the same boat that you are. They're feeling the same way you are. They're struggling just as much as you are. There is another opportunity here with a lover's card. Because that's what it means. It means there's another opportunity for happiness. This is love. This is a perfect union, a major choice, a new contract, a healing love, a sexual connection, a realignment, a new commitment. But you have to choose. This is a card of consequences and it is a card of choice. You have to choose to focus on the future, not what's behind you, because that's what the chariot is about. You leave the past behind you and you focus on the future. Stop staying put. In this anger that you're in, in, the need to win or prove yourself, there's nothing to prove. Stop fighting. Just, just walk away. Anyhow, the lovers is an unexpected choice in love should you choose that path. It's your choice. So you have two options. Because that's what the lovers is. You have two options. You can be bitter and hateful and, you know, look for revenge and, you know, uh, say, talk bad, you know, about whoever this person is. Or you can focus on another opportunity that is right in front of you. Because you have another opportunity right in front of you. You do. You do. It's right in front of you. It's, it's, it's a soulmate connection. But if you are so bitter and angry and upset and not and lacking clarity, you can't see it, you know, that's too bad. So you have another opportunity for love here. It's safe for you to love. Let go of, and there's a lot of mistrust. You probably don't trust anybody. You know, there's a lot, of, and both, neither one does. Maybe there's been some deception, right? There's been some sort of betrayal. There, with the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords reversed, there's no trust. There's been a lot of lies. There's been a lot of dishonesty. There's been a lot of uh, bad talk, you know? So, you know, it's like, I don't, I don't trust, you know, there's, it's kind of like a hateful energy. Ah, two of pentacles reverse, and that's a poor decision, making a poor decision, needing to let go, lacking balance, you know, uh, overwhelmed, overextending yourself, you know, uh, unbalanced, need to let go, stop, stop playing the game. This is playing games, and this is, these are both games. Juggling's playing games, and this is playing some sort of game. So there's games here. Stop playing the game. Remove yourself from the game. That will require walking away instead of fighting because this is fighting. So anyway, um, you have another opportunity here that is probably unexpected. This is, a, this is an unexpected opportunity for love with somebody that, you know, 
probably may have come to your rescue. They may be coming to your rescue. Maybe they, they can help you to heal from this pain that you're in. But you have to be logical. Okay, you have to be logical. You have to be open to it. You have to um, decide. You have to decide that you are determined to focus on the future and not the past. So anyway, um, Ten of Swords, this is the end. It's the end of suffering. I'm going to put it right, I was going to put it right above the lovers. So this is the end of a painful situation. You have a healing love right here, right now. It's over. It's over. The pain and the suffering is over. As long as you can let it go. I feel like there's some sort of realignment here. It's like the universe is trying to realign you with somebody that you are perfect for, but you've experienced so much pain that you're that you just can't let it go. Now, this is the death of a situation. It's interesting that I, I was planning on putting it. You saw when I took it out and I put it up here. It's right next to this casket. This is the death of a situation. And this casket symbolized death. So this is the end of a painful situation. You have a healing love right here. Right here. Chariot reverse. Now this is this is stop. Stop. Upright. It's go. This is stop. Stop fighting. Stop playing. Your emotions are all over the place. You need to master your emotions this month. You are going to need to master your emotions. You may need to tell somebody no. You may, you may need to uh, not communicate. Just stop. Just, just and not even say a word. Just stop. Just, just stop. Just be like, you know what? I'm done. I'm not gonna say another word. I'm gonna master my emotions. I'm going in a new direction. I'm taking charge of my life. I'm in the driver's seat. <laughs> Leaving it all behind. I feel like you're going to be on the defensive. You are going to be on the defensive this month. I feel like somebody is going to be communicating with you. They're going to be trying to cause you problems. Because I feel like it's been mutual. Okay? I think it's been mutual. And it's it's like it's a petty back and forth game of tug of war. Now, the chariot reversed is a disaster ahead. This is lack of direction. You need to stop playing with this individual because they will lie and they will do whatever it takes to take you down. I mean, this could be war. I mean, the five of wands, you know, that could, it could be. Don't play. You have a new connection here or another connection that is better suited for you. That could bring you happiness and, and make you feel loved. You would be cherished. Drop the player. I feel like this month, I just happened to look on the bottom of the deck. We have the magician. This is take action to bring success. This is a golden opportunity. You have manifested something. You have to be strong. You have all the power that you need. The main power that you need is willpower. You're in charge. Check yourself. This is the magician is about self awareness and remember who you are. The magician is also about character.
Take action to bring success to your life. You're in charge. I feel like you, I mean, the magician is as above, so below. So this is a divine connection, right? You have a divine connection to, you know, the universe. The universe hears your thoughts. Your thoughts become things. So if you're thinking nasty, I have to remind you about thinking nasty. Your thoughts become things for you. So you, you hate this bastard or bitch. You know, and you're thinking all these nasty thoughts. That comes back to you. Because your thoughts are yours. So anyhow, this is about taking action to bring success. You have all the resources that you need to be successful. And one of them is a divine connection to source. There's a divine connection to source. Use it to your fullest potential. You can have whatever you want. I feel like you have asked for love, right? And they have brought in you an opportunity for love. Let go of the player. Good luck.